afternoon. It's three, which means it's happy hour somewhere. Now it's summertime. I have all this spare time to do whatever I want, basically. And I have all these creative things I've wanted to do for ages. So I went out the other day and I got this set, mega watercolor set, 31 pack. It's got everything you could ever need to make a watercolor painting. It was like 12 pounds as well. What a bargain, fun for the whole family. I've got a watercolor pad and extra watercolor paper, a palette, some dry watercolor paints, and then wet ones. I don't know what the distinction is, but I know there is one. It came with all these brushes as well. Everything is everywhere already. I've not even begun. I'm realizing now I'm wearing a white jumper and if I get paint on it, I will be really, really sad. Let's hope that that doesn't happen. I separately have a couple of black fineliners, although these aren't very fine, but they'll do the job. Some white pens and a pencil. Now I've got all this stuff. I was like, hmm, I have no idea what to paint, but I know what I want to do. I want to drink Aperol and make art, right? Doesn't that just sound dreamy? I made a peach Aperol. I saw it on an Instagram reel. This person just put peach juice and peaches in an apple spread, so I thought, damn, that sounds revolutionary, gonna change my life, and it has, it's delicious. I also have my iPad here, so I can bring up a picture of what I want to paint. To give you a little bit of history on my painting, I wouldn't call it expertise, but you know what I mean. I did GCSE art. If anyone's from the UK, you know what that is, and if you're not, then you might not know. It's what you do when you're 16 or 15, I think I was 15. And I loved it so much, and every single time I'm off term time, I end up grabbing all my old GCSE art equipment, and I always paint stuff for my parents and for my grandparents. Last Christmas, I painted my boyfriend something. I just love it, but I don't do it enough. And so I thought I would make a conscious effort to sit down during the day and paint. Last summer, my boyfriend and I went to Perugia in Italy, in Umbria. The buildings and the architecture there was so nice. We were just walking around one day and we walked into this square kind of thing. And I think I want to paint that if I can find the picture. How insane is that? Like, what the f I'm going to add a grid to it as well. It's got a grid on it now. Let's just get started. This is going to be extremely rough, so please don't expect anything too good. <sighs> so, um, this is the product so far. I've sketched out literally one corner. It's taking forever, but that makes it all the more rewarding when it's done. I think I'm going to continue sketching and getting a good framework and I'm not going to spend too long on it because it's like not the point. The fun bit is when the watercolours come out, you know. So I'll see you in a sec when I've finished the sketch. It's been a little while and I have finished my sketch. Now it's time to get painting. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I'm going to use this dirty water. I'm so like not an artist. I think that's the main disclosure here. I don't know whether to go light to dark, dark to light, anything. I'm just gonna go for it. I feel like I've been really boring so far, so I'm gonna spice it up by sharing my thoughts on whatever comes into my head. And I hope you enjoy. I think it's really sad that I've not had an opportunity to paint in months. Also, before anyone says anything, I've decided not to do this extra inch here because in the image it's just boring, so I'm gonna cut it out. Anyway, I was thinking about how the world doesn't really allow for people to do creative stuff unless you either have money to begin with or are a big risk taker or you get extremely lucky. People that fall into those three categories are definitely in the minority. The world doesn't really allow for people to do conventional routes of having a career and pursue their creative passions at the same time. There's no way you can balance doing a full-time job, which is like, what, 40 hours a week and then come home and sit down and paint for ages or pick up a camera and start making a film. Because when you get home from your 40 hour a week job, pretty much the only thing you want to do is go to bed or like watch some shit TV because it's the only thing you've been looking forward to all day. The last thing you want to do realistically is put effort into anything you're going to be doing. And you just want to switch off. I don't know whether it's just me feeling very... I don't know, I've just been thinking a lot recently. I feel like I'm in a really interesting and unique place in my life right now where I'm a student and I'm on holiday and therefore I don't have an obligation necessarily to go into the office every day or whatever. Like, I don't at right this moment have a job that I'm going to, which is conscious because last year I worked six 
oh seven days of the week and i had absolutely no time to do anything i'd go out in the evening sometimes but i'd finish work and i'd go home and i just want to sit around and maybe make food but nothing that was going to help me pursue any creative goal i had and so this year if i want to throw myself into my creative outlets a lot more because i kind of feel like this is my last opportunity to do that I mean, hopefully not. That might sound really, really pessimistic as well. And actually, no, it is really pessimistic. But I also don't think it's entirely untrue. I guess that's good motivation to try and make this work. Not this necessarily. Although I love YouTube. I enjoy making videos so much. And I have done since I was so young. I used to make, this is gonna be a throwback for some people, but video star, like music videos. I love that. Then I used to make hauls for my friends. I film it, edit it, and send it to like six people. I was kind of like, you know what? I mean, I really enjoy this. Why not just post it? And you never know what might come of it. And so yeah, I mean, I do mean YouTube to some extent. But also with acting, last year, as in last summer, it was impossible to find the time to do films or anything because I was working constantly. And also during the year, I had no time. Second year, it hit me like a truck and I can sacrifice as much of my studies and time learning as I could in first year. I was still behind even though I didn't do any extracurriculars because law is just a crazily intense course. The point of me saying all that is now is the time where I feel like I can actually lean into things that I really enjoy, things that I actively want to pursue. My parents kind of always said this is the last time in your life you're gonna have holidays and like have a break and like not to freak me out but just to give me a wake-up call in a way. When you're an adult and you are a member of the workforce, you don't get a holiday unless you take your holiday. That does not sit right with me. That's why it feels even more now or never. This could be my last opportunity to really give my creative passions a proper shot. Anyway, I don't know what I've done, but I think it, honestly, it looks better on camera than it does in real life. So if you think it looks decent, uh, unfortunately you are mistaken. At the moment, I've been thinking quite a lot about my future, as I'm sure you picked up on. I think if the summer out right now, I'd be feeling a little bit more jolly, a little bit more excited for the opportunities that are coming my way rather than nervous. Good morning. It's a new day and I'm gonna continue on with this. It's unfortunately a little bit too early to make an Aperol. I was really gonna do it, but it's not even 11 yet. And I don't think that's a good slope to start slipping down. a little bit more optimistic than I did yesterday. I want to do such cool shit in my life. This summer, I really do want to keep on top of my bettering myself kind of thing. It sounds way deeper than I feel like it is. You change anyway. It's just about whether you're conscious of the direction you're going in. <laughs> I overestimated how much room was in this glass and I had a really awkward amount of Prosecco left so I kind of dumped all of it in and then realised it's basically overflowing after I'd put in all the rest of it except for the Aperol. So I had to put in the Aperol obviously because it's just a glass of soda water with Prosecco so I had to be a bit careful. The sun is out finally! It's the first not grey day in ages. Even though it's been warm it's been so cloudy and it just doesn't hit the same. I've really been neglecting this side of the painting so I'm going to try and make good head way with this side. But the thing is, like, even in the picture, it's the boring side. At the start of this year, I decided I wanted to be someone who reads. Everyone that I know who reads properly is super cool and really smart. And I want to be like them. Um, thus far, I've read one and a third books and it is June. I've been reading Emma for probably four months now. I was actually doing okay at the beginning of the year. I got through a book in like two months, which that's not good. One book in two months. I don't know why before I said that out loud I thought that was really good. I'm on my second book of the year and I wanted to read 12. Is that true? Do I want to read 12? Maybe it's 23 because it's 2023. I'm not sure. I was saying to myself during the summer, I have so much time to read. 